All right, guys, we're hooked up. First fish of the day. Nice fish. Looks like a nice little cromer. Put up a good fight on this Riversider. Got a new rod with me. And uh, I'm liking it so far. It's chrome. Where's my rod tip? Where's my rod tip? How's the rod? I love it. <laughs> Sweet. Wow. Oh, not a very big fish, but no. Wow, that's tough. <laughs> oh, it's unhooked. Barely had him. Oh, barely had him. We've seen a couple of these surface this morning. Really pretty fish. <clears throat> Let me get you so we don't get off. There's that. First fish of the morning for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice little chromer. Chrome. Chrome. We're getting her right back. Yeah, not a big fish, oh, but geez. pretty cool. Uh, got some big announcements, guys. We got a partnership now with uh, BuffaloTackle.com. Uh, use code World's World for 10% off. You see, I got a Riverside rod. I just picked it up from them, and that was the first fish I caught on it. And let me tell you, I'm not complaining. This is a great rod. Um, it's a 13 footer. It's a little bit shorter than my last rod, but I still have plenty of rod to fish the big creek today. Uh, we got some really tough conditions behind me. We got some super, super heavy winds and a bunch of rain. So basically, we're fishing this creek hours before it's gonna blow out, right? This afternoon, it's gonna be high and muddy. So we're fishing the last little bit we can get on it. And it might be the last time we fish it all year. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna enjoy it. Got a new reel here too, guys. Yeah, let's do that. Got a Coville 535, the drop back series. Thanks, Danny. Yep, thanks, Danny. A little custom artwork. Yep, and she's already full of sand. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, nice job. But, uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna be bouncing around all morning. So Nice job, bud. First fish. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. All right, guys, just got that first fish of the day. Show you what we're doing here. Let's get it back out there. Oh, that wind. <clears throat> so, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of logs out in there. And uh, there's a stump up there by Eric that he's fishing. Oh, Eric hooked up? Nope. And uh, he actually just caught one of the stumps. But there's a couple log jams down through here. And what it's kind of done, it's kind of made a current break uh, down the middle of it. And it's kind of deepened out right down the center. And so there's kind of a, there's an inside and there's an outside seam. Uh, we've been fishing the inside pretty good uh, with it being, you know, low light and the wind is making it really challenging. Um, but I loaded up my float. I got a 15 gram float on and uh, bombed it over there. And that was like my third drift on the far side. I'm probably 10 feet deep. You know, it's, it's pretty deep down in there and uh, it drifted about a foot and it crushed it. And I uh, apologize about the wind noise for this video, but not much we can do. We're out in one of the floodplains here. <laughs> well, hopefully yeah, get a couple more here and uh, probably bounce around to some other accesses and other spots and uh, see if we make a good day of it before it uh, blows out. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. Oh yeah. yeah, that was smooth. All right guys, that's the next spot here. Let's give this 15, 20 minutes or so and hop back in the truck and uh, keep on going. Well, it's worth a little bit.
Dad's hooked up. Let's get down there. Got him. I, I didn't get a great. Close to you, eh? Yeah. Watch your rod tip. Yeah. The about the same size as the one I caught. The wind is going to make it tough. I don't have the, the forceps, though. So maybe I don't need them. Nice. Gosh, we've only been here five minutes. Yeah. This other spot. Kind of with that Sheffield slip a little. I'll let this show you guys what I'm doing. It's a, it's a pretty unique rig, but let's uh let's get a look at this guy here. We'll turn around for the wind. See if we can't hide some of that wind noise for you. Holy cow. Pretty little fish. A little bit bigger than the one you caught earlier, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, he's gonna give me a fit here. I'm just gonna hold him like this. Show him to you. Nice. Whoop. Yeah, he's pretty. Pretty huh? cool color. Yeah, we're gonna get him back real quick. There he goes. Great. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. I gotta show you this rig. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. The guys at Buffalo Tackle hooked us up with a bunch of these little mini floats from Sheffield. This is an eighth ounce, and I put an inline. You see us fish this stuff all the time on the lower river. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just try it. I got a little bit of a shot line and then down to an egg sack. And the beauty of this is, especially on a day like today, the wind is ripping, right? And this, I mean I'm I'm on bottom, I guarantee yep. you. It casts and nice. These are nice because they have the metal inserts. The too. Metal, That's yeah. what you need. Yeah, we, we talk about these metal inserts all the time. That that keeps that in, in good condition. So couldn't be happier with that. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. I think I'll be fishing a lot more of this. Um, you know, in the in the weeks ahead. So anyway. All right, cool. Yeah, let's get back at it. Yep. That's a big fish. Right in that slow stuff down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it chopped and chopped and chopped. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's like a nice fish. That does. Probably should unhook the net before he started fishing. I was gonna say, is it on you? No, it's back there. Oh no. The net. <laughs> That's a big fish. Yeah, it is a big fish. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. We got a crew with us today. We're putting everybody to work. Hey. Down on that Sheffield slip float. That Pretty float cool. just. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is my. I think this is gonna be. Oh, my that's new, a good fish. This is gonna be my new way to fish. Yeah. With these slip floats, yeah. Because that quarter ouncer makes it easier for me to find bottom. How we doing, Tom? You gonna be my net man? It's been, it's been a couple weeks. It's been a while. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice day. Yeah, I'll get some internet. Like <laughs> that? I'll get some internet. Our 
spot right there. Uh, that's a chroma. There we go. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Sounds like I can't. I can't. Yeah, can't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get the hook out of him real quick. Boy, he's got sores all over him, doesn't he? Oh, 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 oh. I lost my pliers. I'll say I lost them. I saw them on Will somewhere. Yeah, they're on my bag. We've only been here. We moved spots again. We've only been here a couple of minutes. Alright. Alright, nice. That looks like a spawned out female there. It does, yeah. She's a little banged up. But yeah, she's been in here for a minute, but still freaking bright colors. Gorgeous fish. Fought real hard. Yeah, wow, look at that. Not a giant, but a really nice fish. Yeah. So, yeah, super cool. Right, get her back. Get her back in there. She'll probably go the wrong way. They always do. Yep. Yep. Yeah, nope, she did it. Smart one. <laughs> Woo, yeah, nice. bud. Thanks. Good job with Tommy on the net. Yep. Again, just using that. Guys, I think I'm on to something. There's a lot of water today. Like, yeah, we're the, flowing about 600 CFS. Yeah, the creek is is ripping. And so I'll show you this again. This Sheffield eight ounce. I mean, that's the deal. And then a quarter ounce, or um, yeah, I don't even know quarter what that is. Quarter, quarter ounce inline. And then just some, some additional shot down to an egg sack. And uh, what it does is helps me keep the float in the run better and it helps me find bottom really quick and get my stuff down when there's more volume of water. So, yeah. um, anyway, we're yeah, good get back tip. at it. Yep. yep. Cool. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Tommy is crew. Yep. There's probably a ton of them sitting there. Fishing. I'm telling you, I caught two 12 pounders right where your float's going through. It just depends if it's sitting there. Eric's hooked up. I get it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> beads? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, oh man. Air back up a little bit. Oh, dude, big one. Like real oh, big. That's a big fish. Nice job. Here, that's a thing out of the water. Oh, it's going to give it up. Oh, did not give it up. I knew it was going to do that. That's big. That's big. Yep, right there. Sweet. Nice. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big fish there, buddy. Woo. Good job, buddy. Oh, look at its mouth. Oh yeah, they're banged up. Cut it on a single bead. Yeah. Anybody got pliers? <laughs> nope. Single bead rig. No egg sac, Zumba? No. There you go. Here, I'll hold your rod. You want to hold it up for the camera? Sure. Stick the rod between your, between your legs there. How's it going, bud? You got that, you got that one on it. Straight up the bead. There you go. Nice. Eric's first fish of the day. Straight up bead. Awesome. Get him right back. Alright. Let him go. Let him grow. Awesome fish. Nice work. Sweet. Our bill just showed up. Got a drop and floats with Dakota under the bridge. Everybody's here now. Literally zero line on there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. I watched his float go down on that one. <laughs> Trying to keep the camera clean for you guys. Yeah, look at it right now. Uh, it's a little foggy. There we go. That's butter. 
Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized he put. Jeez. I'm right in the nose. Is it? Yep. I think it was probably spitting it out <laughs> by the time I set the hook. Nice. Sweet. Tom. Tom's back. <laughs> that's a good fish right there. Yeah. Nice. I got the hot hand right here, it seems like. Wow. That's a nice fish. Got it. Can't get it. <coughs> Alright. Nice there fish right is. there. Nice fish. Well, these fish are not too not marked up at all. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, it's got a little spray. Yeah. Get her back. Are you getting giant ones up at the four foot glass week? What's that? The four foot is getting giant glass week? One that was like eight pounds, that was about the biggest. Mike, Mike, Mike. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up here for us today. Uh, pretty good day all around. It's about 11.30 right now. I'm not gonna hit it too crazy hard today. The wind, I will say, is making it extremely challenging, as you guys can probably tell from some of the clips. Um, we finally were able to get out of some wind here, and we banged up a couple fish, and so we're hoping tomorrow that the rain that fell on us today uh, doesn't do too much damage to the creek, and we're able to get right back here tomorrow. That'd be super, super fun. So I um, appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. Hope you guys learned something. And uh, remember, buffalotackle.com and 10% uh, off of Coe's World's World. Um, so yeah, go check them out, grab some stuff, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys out here. So hope you guys appreciated this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.